Are there some other things that Ugandans are doing that sure. waste energy? Yeah, uh, if, if you look at the biomass energy, which uh, constitute 90% of our energy resource uh, in our homes and also in the commercial uh, sector, i just give you some figures here. In the homes, totally, in Uganda, we use up to 17 million tons of wood fuel for cooking. And we use 500,000 tons of charcoal in our homes. Uh, commercially, in like bakeries and other small industries, use a total of 3.5 million tons of firewood for their operations. And 273,000 tons of charcoal. If only we can move from the three stove, uh, the three stone, the three stone uh, cooking place, cooking, cooking place, which yes. is in the rural area, and start using uh, the, the the energy saving stoves, either these ones which are just used with mud and water, which are built in the kitchen, or just spend fifteen thousand shillings and buy you know, uh, the better one, the better quality, you reduce that consumption by 50%. That means we would save, uh, if we total all this, it comes to about 23 million tons of fuel wood. We would save 12.5 million tons of that fuel wood. Mm. Then how many trees shall we have saved? Mm. What impact will it have on our environment? Now, if you bring information like this in this perspective, to our local people who are basically suffering now. The waters are drying off because they have cut down all the trees for firewood and charcoal. The soils are getting poorer and poorer because the system of making charcoal involves that you dig into the soil, you bury the wood there, and you burn. As you burn, you are burning both the soil and producing your charcoal. What impact does it have on the soil? That soil will not be able even to to be productive enough even for the grass for the animals to eat. Mm. 